Uh, next, I'd like to welcome to the microphone Chris Opper. Chris is a, a wonderful woman that I've gotten to know over the years, and uh, she has a story to tell. I think you have some uh, additional women from the Silent No More campaign sprinkled out around the audience, and we're so glad to have you here. Tell us uh, your opinion. A little bit different perspective, obviously. Um, I come at it from a personal perspective. I myself chose to have an abortion when I was 18 years old. Um, I do want to tell you there are consequences that those of us who make this choice deal with. So you're talking about consequences of votes, and you're talking about consequences of choices of people who may feel trapped, they may feel pressured by other people to do the un what we term unthinkable. Um, I'm not excusing what we do in any way, shape, or form. What I'm trying to do is relay the heartbreak that the truth of abortion and the consequence of abortion really does bring to lives. Um, as I laid in the recovery area of the abortion clinic, I was weeping because for me, each of us has a unique story. My story starts when I was laying on that table. I had the realization, I knew without a shadow of a doubt, it was a living human being that had just been taken from me. Um, that is a, a, a thought that you cannot even imagine. Um, if you are a mother, um, the reality of that hits really hard. I realized the people that were in the area, I'm weeping back there and no one is asking me what's wrong. They're talking about what's going on in their own lives. And it was an immediate realization that I don't talk about what I just went through. Um, if you think about how many women and men um, you know that you have ever heard the story of their abortion, it's very few and far between. And that's because we have a very deep and a very dark and a very guarded secret that we carry because we are totally ashamed we are totally guilt-ridden of the choice that we made. So as far as why I'm here is to bring the reality of that, is to bring encouragement for those of us that have actually made this choice to find out that there is healing that is available. You have to make the steps, though, to do that. This is one thing that you will never, ever lose the regret for. That will never go away, and please hear me very clearly on that. But you need to take some steps to receive some healing and to find the forgiveness that is extended to you. I'd like to bring some statistics so that it raises the awareness of how many abortions are really performed in our country. And according to the Alan Guttmacher Institute, by the time the American women reach the age of 45, 43% of American women age 45 have been through an abortion. That's huge if you think of the numbers. That's approximately 3,600 abortions every day, which makes it the most common medical procedure that there is. Out of those abortions, 11%, now we're talking about health care costs. As I'm talking about this, also think about the health care cost that an abortion does instigate. And out of those abortions, 11% will have immediate need for medical attention due to complications. That is not decreasing health care costs, that is increasing health care costs. Um, there's studies done that within the next 12 months of women who have had abortions related to women who have been pregnant in crisis situations but carried to term, there's a four times greater death rate among women who have had abortions versus those that have not. That's mainly due to complications that arise during the procedure. So the consequences are huge. The guilt that you suffer, it, it filters into your everyday life, into your marriages, into your families. You look at your own children differently. As you're raising your children, you wonder what color eyes your firstborn had. Those thoughts haunt you. You wake up in the middle of the night with nightmares. There's insomnia. There's eating disorders. Drug abuse, alcohol abuse is huge in our lives. So that's the awareness that we're trying to bring. Um, as far as March 2008, Britain's Royal College of Psychiatrists, they expressed concern for women's mental health after abortion. And the quote says that women who have had abortion had rates of mental health problems that are about 30% higher than other women. It's not only the physical ramifications, consequences that we're talking about, it's emotional and psychological ramifications. So it's just huge. Health care costs, in my opinion, when you start looking at all the numbers, there's no way they decrease, you guys. It's an increase for every abortion that happens. So as, as you think about votes, as you think about all of that, just remember those of us helped me to bring a face to abortion so that maybe you can have an understanding. Women that do go through this do have pain and regret. And it's not all that, you know, we don't suffer consequences. We do, we suffer them hugely. And I thank you for the privilege that God has given me for forgiveness for mine to be able to stand here and tell you that I am forgiven and that I can make a difference in the fight for life. And I just thank you.